the craziest experience, well, I say one of the craziest experiences I ever had on tour was when we were on tour with MERS just recently. And cause he took us into all these crazy markets that we never really ever been to. And we didn't realize that they like really loved hip hop there. But long story short, we went to a place called Missoula, Montana, which is like, you know, it's in the middle of nowhere, but it's a major college town. We didn't realize the University of Montana is there. So there's kids from all over who, you know, somehow funnel into the school. And so the show is, is nuts, it's crazy. It was actually one of our best nights doing merch. But during that tour, um, Double O had lost his phone. So while we were doing merch, you know, he kept asking me, let me see your phone, let me see your phone. I'm like, whatever, that's cool. Like my phone keeps ringing from this like random Missoula, Montana number like all night. And he's like, oh, I think it's this girl, you know, that I met and I think she's trying to hook up. And I'm like, all right, whatever, that's cool, that's normal. So I, I let him see the phone. So I, like basically she keeps calling to the point where like, I basically just let him hold my phone. So I'm like, obviously you need to con get in contact with this girl. We were wilding out, just drinking, partying the whole night, or whatever. Like, but you know, how tours is like next city, new expedition, new exploration. And it's all over. I started getting this call from this random like Dallas number, and I'm just like, who the hell is calling me <laughs> from Dallas? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, we haven't even been to Dallas. Like, who is this? And it kept happening at weird hours. And so, you know, one day this this dude called me and like six in the morning and I'm just like, yo, who the hell is, this? like, who are you? Like, why are you calling my number? And I guess the dude must have did research on me or like really found out whose phone it was. Cause he's like, is this knowledge? And you from Chicago? And he's asking me all these questions. I'm like, yo, you calling my phone asking me all these questions. Like, what is up? He's like, yeah, I went through my fiance's uh, phone call log or whatever. And your, your number keeps showing up and blah, blah, blah. Like, who are you? Like, how do you know my, my fiance? I'm like, I felt like I was in like a Cameron skit. Cause I was just like, like, yo homie, I don't even know your girl. Like, who is your girl? Like, I don't know your girl. He, he just kept going off. Like, yo, how do you, I'm supposed to get married to her and, and I'm in the army and, but I still, I check her, her phone. Cause I call, I pay the bill. I was like, yo homie, I don't even know your girl like that. Like, I, I hope she had a good time at our concert. If she came to our concert, you know, that's all well and good. She probably came out with some of her friends. So mind you, I'm, I'm spinning them. I'm just like, yo, just calm down. You know, like, this is man to man. Like, if this is your fiance, you probably don't got nothing to worry about because Missoula, Montana wasn't even the most cracking state on our tour. So I was like, I was like, in reality, if your girl met us, in Montana, then it, we probably not even thinking about it. But it was just so funny that he was so heated while he was calling me. And then by the end of it, he's like, yeah, I'm a fan of the music too. And, and like, you know what I'm saying? We get off the, the phone, dude, like my space hits me and it's like, yo, my bad about the call. Like everything is good. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude, hits my blog all the time. And I'm just thinking in my head, like, you hit me on some like, you might have smashed my fiance. Now you telling me you a fan. Like that was just the crazy. I never had nothing like that happen to me, but I stopped letting Double O use my cell phone because of that. <laughs> For real, because random Montana girls and their army fiancés is just not what you need on your answering machine, you know what I mean?